On Thursday, Judicial Watch released this 2010 list of Washington's 10 most corrupt politicians. There may be a few surprises, but let's take a look at some of the usual suspects and talk about why nobody was surprised that they made the list. All right, the first on the list, I'm not sure if we're going up or down in this. So, so let's start with Rahm Emanuel, uh, the guy who found the crawl space. Uh, I'm sure the guy you're probably rooting for in Chicago. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know the entire rel uh, uh, field of people. I like Rahm Emanuel, but look, if he can't establish residency and if the law cannot be, uh, if he doesn't follow the law, he's got to follow the law. I, I don't know that a crawl space where you stored stuff qualifies as a <laughs> residence, although I've lived in places smaller than that. The last time a crawl space was important in Illinois is when John Wayne Gacy, remember, <laughs> oh, had his yeah. uh, crawl I didn't, space. Think, I didn't think you could go lower than the last comment you made. The last oh, one, I can't add. By the way, is Ralph ready to go into that crawl space and open it up like the Al Capone safe to see what's in there? They're claiming, oh, technology, trick doors. Right. What does he have yeah, in what, that what house? Am I the defender? What are you pointing at me for? I am. I'm here to represent. Rahm Emanuel? Is that what you're... Le Leslie, <laughs> what are you making out? Yeah. Rahm Emanuel making a list as he makes his debut as a Chicago politician. It might be appropriate, huh? Well, I gotta tell you, this is this. What are you looking for, Jimmy Hoffa? I mean, Rahm Emanuel owns a house in Chicago. He was a resident of Chicago. Got a job in Washington D.C. Moves to Washington D.C. Put some of his stuff in a crawl space, attic, whatever what you want to call it, back room. Tenant didn't know about it. Have a witness that helped him pack it. Said, "Here's where it is." They go in, say, "Hey, we found it." Took pictures. Bada bing, bada boom. The guy was telling the truth. Hey guys, End okay, let's go to the next guy on the list. Barney Frank. You're just afraid of a Democrat Bar becoming Barney, the mayor of Chicago. Barney Frank. Yeah, that's it. That's oh. it. Dave, i got to start with you with Barney the, Frank. The smartest man out of Massachusetts that could run, you know, this committee, be the best, and he hasn't figured out how to fix Fannie and Freddie yet. Maybe his dating life should change. <laughs> but I was tempted to go there. I'm glad you did. No, no, because, <laughs> no, look, if, if, if someone had that type of relationship with a major head, there would be a conflict of interest investigation questions, but no, not Barney Frank. And what keeps getting left out of everything, out of Dodd Frank, Finreg, out of every reform, the hundred and forty-six billion dollar hole that Barney Frank helped build. And frankly, I'll give out on this one with the help of some Republicans in collusion. Oh, how nice of you to throw me a little crumb. Uh, my That's way. all you get. <laughs> okay. Guys, this guy, I don't know, I thought he was going to be number one, but let's go with Charlie Rangel because he is next on the list. And, of course, i got to go with you, Curtis. Charlie Rangel's a New York original. You're a New York City original. What do you make of the whole oh, scandal? Didn't he have glide in his stride? Wasn't he so melodramatic? But four, count them, four apartments at taxpayers' expense. And all of a sudden, 17 years, he didn't file or pay taxes oh, by the way, on a house in guys, the Dominican Republic where he said, I would call down there, they were speaking wait, Spanish, it, I didn't understand what they were saying, so I didn't Let file. me point out that this list that you're alluding to here was put out by Larry Clayman's right-wing group, the one after Clinton, yes. promoted by The Examiner, a right-wing publication. Are we ignoring Tom DeLay and Duke Cunningham and Jack Abramoff? Well, and all the other no, this, all is, all this is the 2010 all list. On, this, all the people on this list. This is the 2010 list. All the people on this list, it turns out to be Democrat, put out by a right-wing group. So this Man, is not exactly well, a fair and balanced look. If you have, if you have scandal, more corrupt officials... You get more don't, on the don't list. Don't give me the top ten Le list. Leslie, Leslie, I'm going to move on the list. Uh, <laughs> there goes Charlie chilling out. Uh, Leslie, Nancy Pelosi, and I know you're a proud Californian. You've mentioned it a couple of times on the show. This must make you somewhat proud. She made the list. The list is a bogus well, list. I <laughs> Sorry, Leslie, well, exactly. Go. This is first. First of all, conservatives saying, "Oh, look at all these bad Democrats." So we'll throw a couple of Republicans in, so we don't look so right conservative leaning. And that's what they are. One, it's very subjective. Uh, can you tell me what uh, what kind of ethics investigation or charges Nancy Pelosi has been brought up on? Oh no, she's just a chick. A lot of guys don't like in Washington. Well, a woman who has power. Thing. A woman who was the first speaker. Uh, really, what is what has she done? What, what has woman, she done? Woman, her being a woman has nothing to do with. But I will tell you one thing that really is an affront to me. When she always says that welfare, food stamps, and unemployment is the best way to bring this a country right, right. Out, Charles, the, the, to create an economic miracle. The Wall Street Journal, Let's agreed, with the Wall Street Journal agreed with Let's her, Charlie. Her the Wall Street Journal said for every dollar that goes no, out no, no. To, to assistance, the, you bring in a dollar you know sixty-six. Here, the, the, the conservative Wall Street Journal How agreed with Let me tell you something. Here's the you do not want people to become wards of the state. No, of course I'm telling you right now. That's not corruption. That's a difference of opinion. That's not corruption. Let me respond to this. Of course you don't want people to be wards of the state. 
But the Wall Street Journal itself did, showed that she is right, because the people who get this assistance spend it right away. But, it circulates but, but in the let economy. Me, let, me, let me ask right. you a question to you, economy. Alan and Leslie. All right. What is the genesis of that dollar? Where does that dollar come from that generates? Us. No, let me finish. That's not the issue. The gen dollar that's supposed to generate a dollar fifty that's is being borrowed forty percent of it, which means sixty sixty cents of that dollar is now going to generate a dollar fifty. But the genesis of that dollar is past the contribution of unemployment. It is actually money being borrowed, taken from federal taxpayers. Uh, I, okay, I, I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. The I'm a yeah, you you lost us a little bit there, Dave. The bottom <laughs> line, though, it's morally I'm reprehensible right. to make people award to the state and tell them that welfare is good for them. I'm going to tell you that right now. So but let's leave. Real quick, Curtis. Yeah, man, flip the script. What about Barbara Boxer, Miss Brooklyn, who went with Miss Schnazol out there, Barbara Streisand, to be okay, a play on California? Ms. Now, Seven countrywide mortgages. Now Seven. let's leave it there. Coming yeah. up next. Coming up